Hello everyone, it's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. Um, it is October and we're ready to start getting into the FLL qualifying event. So for all of you teams and coaches, um, this is going to be just a video to help you go through a checklist of everything you need to have before you pack up and drive to your qualifying event. So what I'm going to do is just go through a, a checklist of everything you'll need just to make sure that if you run into any type of emergencies or need to get things done while you're at the event that you'll have everything with you. So check out my list. Uh, if you look down in the comments section, I'll even have it written out there if you want to print it out for yourself. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, let's start with the obvious. You're obviously going to have to bring your team or team's robot and all of their attachments. Usually I put these attachments in a EV3 kit uh, box. You're going to have to bring uh, the, your LEGO EV3 uh, Mindstorms kit just in case any of their parts or pieces, uh, you know, their attachments um, get broken, lost. Uh, you're going to need the kit and maybe even some extra pieces to bring uh, in case you, can, uh, you, you lose or break something. You can just make another one. You're also going to need to have your team or team's uh, laptop so that if you have to adjust or modify any of your programs, you have it right there with you. Uh, also, we need to have your team or your laptop's USB cable so you can uh, connect and transfer those programs. Uh, it's also wise to have the laptop charger. You would hate for your laptop to die and run out of battery uh, in the middle of your competition. And, uh, you know, power-wise, too, I think it'd be smart to bring an extension cord. So that way, wherever your team might be setting up the laptop, you don't have to necessarily be tied to the outlet, but you can maybe uh, roam f a little freer uh, with an extension cord. It also might be helpful to bring a backup uh, sensor if you're using sensors on your robot. Um, because, you know, in the EV3 kit, you only have one ultrasonic, one color sensor. So it might be wise to bring a backup just in case something happens. It is always uh, pretty wise to have your uh, battery chargers with you at your uh, event. But it would take uh, quite a while and with time constraints might uh, pose a problem. So the better advice would be to just bring charged batteries with you. So if your ro robots are having... Uh, battery issues, you can just uh, pop off the dying one and replace it with a fully charged battery and wouldn't have to wait all that time for it to get charged. Uh, depending upon how much uh, space you have, um, you can bring your FLL Animal Allies mat with you and all of your models so that you can practice in your pits. Um, some of the qualifying events, depending on where you go, can have uh, practice tables. So it's just depending on your team and what you guys want, you can uh, bring your own mat and models if uh, you don't want to wait for the practice tables. And you definitely can't forget your project board. I always bring a binder too. Um, if any of your team members have uh, registrations, uh, you know, the, the handwritten registrations, uh, field trip slips, uh, contacts to call, uh, any information that you're bringing for your teams to have it on with you in a binder. Uh, if you have your team's code, uh, any information, I just have this binder with everything inside. Okay, everybody, there it is. I mean, uh, obviously, I'm leaving out a bunch of things that your team might be bringing that's different than another team. Um, I know I'm bringing a uh, like a TV tray so my teams can uh, put their attachments uh, in an EV3 kit and have it next to the board so that uh, they're not uh, messing up the board or you know scattering things all around. Uh, your team might be having props for your presentation so don't forget the props. Um, so Obviously, my list is not foolproof. It's not, you know, perfect for every single team. If you uh, think of something that I forgot, you know, leave me a comment down there in the comment section. Um, but 
all in all, it's, it's all good fun. Um, obviously, your teams will learn if you do forget something to not forget it next year, but you kind of don't want to have to learn the hard way. So hopefully my list was helpful and um, good luck to all the teams. It's a great experience and I uh, hope that you guys do well. So I am Mr. Hino again and I am out. Bye.